Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello, great to have you with us, and this is the scene here at the Lusail Stadium, just to the north of Doha. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And we have a very intriguing match to bring you, this World Cup round of 16 tie. It's the Netherlands against the United States. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here. But whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Virgil van Dijk plays with Matthijs de Ligt in central defence. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Here's how it looks for the United States. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. And so the match is underway. And continues his run. Trying to chisel a chance out of it. And he'll take efforts like that all day long. Well, the Netherlands in the round of 16. What version of the Oranje will turn up? I say that because I remember they were favourites going into the round of 16 oh, contest. Derek, can he finish it here? Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Threat over for now, it seems. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Well, they've started the game really brightly. Can he give them the lead? And that goes down as a very disappointing attempt. Well, the keeper can't believe his luck. That's a really poor effort. So a personnel change then. Going short. Depay. It's with Berghaus. And Dyke. Forge ahead, they do, and you've got to say they're good value for the lead. Oh, 
just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So underway again here, 1-0 the score. Weston McKenney. The pie. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Real chance. And another one. Two quick goals. Will it turn out to be the two punch knockout? Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Weston McKenney. Serginho Dest. Well, it's one pass after another. And well, it was a good looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Adams. How can they create something? Well, well, if only he'd been able to stay on side. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Stay on side, and that could have been a really big chance. Cup Mainers and Blint Berghaus Depay can he finish well they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity well we're focusing on him for a reason he's playing with real authority and attack Stuart well the keeper will be sick at the sight of him he's been shooting from everywhere and he's taking his goals really well position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here oh it was there for him but unable to find the target well he certainly went for power but the accuracy just wasn't there he should have scored that Daily Blint. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Jesus Ferreira. And so it is, the first half story has been written. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Possession one. Pulisic. He's got to have a go here. Well, in actual fact, it ended up being a simple claim for the keeper. Cup Mainers.
Berghuis. It's with Kopmeiners. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Giving it a try. Able to get a body in the way. De Jong. Keeper getting the touch. And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop and then the reaction. Firing it towards goal. And he did what he had to do defensively. Can they trouble the opposition this time? De Jong. Oh, he's through here. And a goal! A running riot here, almost out of sight. Well, just watch this again. De Jong's pass is inch perfect. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Goal. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3 0 now. Number three, Matthias. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Weston McKenney. Jesus Ferreira. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Such an important goalkeeping intervention under pressure. Well, as you can see, the Netherlands have enjoyed more of the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield. Oh, it's developing nicely for them here. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. So the corner played into the box. It hasn't come to very much. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Aronson. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, here it is again. The ball over the top is an absolute beauty. But you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. Underway again with the score at 3 1. United States, number nine, Jesus Ferreira. Oh, what an opportunity! It's still alive. Well, it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. He's in here. He got a good palm on it. And it's all over. The Netherlands have secured their place in the last eight. Yeah, it was a good overall display, especially up front, where their clever movement and combination play caused lots of problems. They'll certainly fancy their chances going into the next round. Well, he can be such a difficult opponent, Steven Bergwijn, and that proved to be the case today, Stuart. Summarise for us what you liked about his contribution. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.